Well, welcome back to Fly Fishing Podcast. At the moment, uh, it's end of the season, and what I'm doing at the moment is fishing a lot of dries. Uh, but the big fat daddy is what the trout are after. A lot of weed on the river, so dry is a good thing to fish. But they're also looking for a, a good mouthful when it comes to fattening up for winter and the breeding season. And this is my foam bodied. Uh, detached bodied daddy, um, polypropylene wings, long trailing legs, and uh, just a bear hook underneath, and a red game hackle. Very, very simple to tie, very quick to tie, and very, very effective. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, starting off with a camasam hook, which is a dry fly merger hook is a B405 size 10 um, you can use any colours silk the hook is important because it's a light hook but it's also got a nice wide uh, gape in there which again is good for hooking I prefer these to the other hooks that the Camasam do uh, which are the 400s, uh, which are very popular down at Chew for the Chew fishermen. Anyway, here we go. So, the next bit of this uh, fly, the red game hackle. I'm using very large, low quality red game hackle. I've stripped that and I'm tying it down onto the hook. Like so. And I'm going to take out. Uh, these are pheasant tail, pre-tied pheasant tail fibres. Um, so they've got little, little knots in the end. I'm going to twist those to help, help them all stand out. I'm not counting how many legs there are. I'm literally going to make this as messy as possible. So they spray out at the back. Maybe take a few turns of silk in between. Try and get them sprayed a bit like that because we're looking for the effect of um, legs coming out I even go to leave the bristly bits there then I've got a bit of grey polypropylene um, which is going to act to the wing I'm just going to tie it in over the top double and then I'll cut it to lens just figure eight that in now I don't mind if it's pointing back slightly. That's part of part of the charm of this pattern. And then I'm going to take my body, which is a piece of foam which I've cut from a sheet. It's just a uh, nice sort of khaki colour, which is very similar to the to the actual daddy. Now the point of this is it really really does help the flotation of this pattern and I'm fed up of having to grease flies and the way the fish take this is with great confidence I'm going to tighten once and I'm going to go back down the body there tighten again so it's tied in at two points down the body and I have a little bit of cock in the, cock in the, the body there I've tapered the end, but basically it's got all square sides to it. And if it come back, I'll put a thread down there. And then I'm just going to tie in this hackle. And I'll come underneath the polypropylene wing. We're keeping it, it doesn't matter that it's going to stick out at the side like that. We're just trying to get the idea of legs and buzz on top of the, the fly. Keep those wings out there, like so. What I tend to do is, the old fly patterns used to have the tips, you would have two hackles which are winding, and they would leave the tips of the wings. So I'm going to just go and leave that tip there. Wobble my thread of them coming through, tidy off the front, 
Now I'm not bothered about all these bits sticking out and this is where we're going to just tie in the head of the fly. Like so. Take it under and then we're going to finish it off. Do a couple of whip finishes. finishing tool there and there we have it. We're going to trim the wings to the end just the same size as the body like so. I'm just going to cop that at the top. So there you have it my detached bodied daddy long legs with a fame body. Just pluck those out a bit more generally get the idea. Nice scruffy pattern. The polypropylene wing is all designed to make flotation a lot easier. Um, I think it's helpful actually to have a little bit at the front so um, you can cock that up and you can also twitch across the surface. Gives a little bit of movement with that plane working. Polypropylene wings, a um, few false casts, those are dry yet again. Uh, it's is a very quick efficient fly to tie um, getting out there end of the season this is what the trout are looking for at the moment and you can always after you're there if you've got plenty of legs on them if a few come off as you're catching trout um, there's a couple more to replace it I wouldn't recommend you too tidy with this one it's more about the profile um, I've been fishing on a, a six, uh, six pound leader uh, on a free weight rod just on a local river and uh, I gave it a spin yesterday and had you know, six trout on it um, all around about a pound and a half, two pounds. So give that a go, end of the season, get out there whether you're fishing for a boat or whether you're fishing um, on the river. It's a, a real short killer. Come and have a look at the Fly Time podcast website. I'm going to post this up there. There'll be a little bit of a, a blog which I've done as well and a podcast. I'll put this out on my iTunes site and also you're very welcome to follow me on Twitter and that way you get the updates which are happening. Um, you can subscribe as well to the RS feed. Hope you have a good end of the season. Give this one a go and um, tight lines.